This is the second set of bees. We are spraying those down. It's a Russian queen. And a top bar bee that my friend Rick Miller made. Individual bars and a lid. And a window. And a window, an inspection window. This is the natural way of beekeeping, supposedly, the way they do it in third world countries. And it's starting to make a big comeback here for uh, the simple reason it lets the bees pick what size comb they want to make, what size cells they want to make. And supposedly it'll help on uh, Varroa mice, but that remains to be seen. Okay, we're ready to fry that off. We're prying the top off. This is our little hitchhiker. All the way from Lima. Hundred fifty miles. Wow. There's a bunch of them on top of there. Yeah. Spray them. Try to shake them down a little bit. Spray. We're spraying they sound them. A little more angry, so I'm gonna spray yeah. Them We're spraying them with uh, one part sugar, two parts water. That will coat them, and then they'll be busy trying to clean themselves. People. It gives them something to do. So it's stinging. Right. Make them more docile. At least that's what we've heard. <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did, he? did you get the paper clip? Yeah, I got it. He's prying the uh, little tab. Has the queen in it. And we will take the queen out and inspect it. Make sure she's alive. Well, I'm assuming she's alive. I can't really see her. I see the little tending bees they put in there with her. Do you see a queen in there? Okay, I've uh, rigged a piece of a paper clip on there with the uh, red-green method. <laughs> it's called duct tape. And uh, I pried the cork out. The candy stopper. There's the little cork. And I'm going to place this in the. I've created a small section of chamber here with my top bars. Here's one end, here's the other. As the brood grows and the honey compartment grows, we'll move these ends out, hopefully, to here. So for now, we're just going to use the center part. Rigged it with a paper clip. Stuck it in between two. Wonder if the bees on the outside are from our from my hive? No. I think they're from this hive because I when I took that top off a bunch of them. They're faster. <laughs> it's in Russian. <laughs> These are Russian bees. So uh, instead of sugar water, we're spraying them with vodka. <laughs> Not. No, I'm Huh? How'd you get that can out? I tipped it sideways so it kind of slid out a little bit. Yep, like that. Like that can? That can has sugar water in it. And we're going to use, well, I probably shouldn't have 
probably ought to put my honey in. Yep. It's very warm. We're going to try a bag of honey for a feed for these bees. Put that in the bottom. You have a razor blade? Mom has a razor blade. Is that laying right there? Have a razor blade, we're gonna make a couple cuts in there. Just enough so the bees can get to the honey without drowning. Now we're gonna shake some beans. A lot of shaking going on. I can't imagine they like this part. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much flying everywhere. Yeah. Yes, these seem a little more flyy. <laughs> set this down and let the rest of them fly out of it to uh, the queen. front of the hive. We already got one going in the entrance. We got our entrance reducer here. That's it. Now we're going to start putting our top bars back on. They're pretty much all down in there. See them in there? You want to look down in there? Sure. They're not very aggressive. They don't act like they're trying to sting us. Right. That's true. So now we're going to just put the top bars back on. Hopefully not squishing. Hopefully not squishing. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to fly down the top of my shirt. <laughs> Now the only place they can get in is down there at the entrance. And they're already fanning. It's called a uh, top bar hive. Got the plans from uh, a guy by the name of uh, James Zitting. And it's, uh, he has a website called B Landing. And we got the plans from him. And modified them just a little bit. The main idea is from him. Best friend Rick Miller, woodworker, he did a great job of uh, finishing it out. Then we got the uh, observation window down here. You can see them in there crawling around. Kind of, not but really. We're going to close it up because they don't like the light, they prefer darkness. So. And it's almost dusk, so. So this is. Ben Gleck and family. This is our beehive project that we've been working on through the winter. This is our first attempt at installing bees in a top bar hive and a Langstroth. Wish us luck. Lord willing, we'll have honey this fall. Thank you.